I know what you're thinking. This shirt isn't patriotic, but I will have you know. Red, white, and blue. Patriotic. You've probably also noticed that I am posting on Wednesday. I know I'm always so punctual posting on Tuesdays and Fridays. Let's be real. Normally I get them posted about 1 a.m. on the day after because I try and I try, but I put off editing to the last minute and then my computer decides it's gonna slow down late at night and, and then it just doesn't work. But I'm posting on Wednesday on purpose today because it is July the 4th, my birthday. Ah, crowd goes wild. Oh, yeah, baby. Today I am 23 years old. <laughs> If you can do your math, you can probably figure out that I am a 95 baby. So today, I'm going to do a video montage of things that were popular in 1995. So to get more in the spirit of my birthday, here we go. This is a cool, like, American flag looking thing and a headband, red, white, and blue. I normally don't dress up for my birthday because it'd be like, I don't know, a werewolf dressing up for Halloween or the Easter Bunny dressing up like an Easter Bunny. Maybe those analogies aren't on point, but I think you can get the general idea I'm trying to go for here. Anyway, but let's get on to our ode to 1995, aka the best year, because I was born then. Okay, maybe not the best year, but it was, it was, it was an okay year. So first things first, the Macarena became popular in 1995. You know that song everyone dances to at weddings besides the electric slide? Hey Macarena! Ah! Yeah, I don't know the words of that song. If you guys do, Comment them down. Comment them down below. Something that I thought was interesting was eBay was released in 1995, and Amazon sold their first book in 1995. So I'm gonna kind of just smush those two together. I mean, it's not like the most amazing thing in the world, but it's it's pretty significant because a lot of people probably use eBay and Amazon. There are just so many movies that were released in 1995. Toy Story, Batman Forever, Apollo 13, Pocahontas, Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, Golden Eye, Casper, Jumanji, Die Hard with a Vengeance, and Braveheart. Growing up, I remember being so freaked out by Jumanji, but still loving Jumanji. I don't know why. I think the biggest one in my childhood would definitely be Toy Story. You know, the movie where Toys come to life. It's kind of a big deal. There's like a three and a, and a two. Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3. Are they coming out with a fourth one? They might be. I don't know. Another movie that actually came out is Clueless. That movie is a classic. I've personally never seen it, but people say it's like a classic movie. And it's really weird for me to think that a movie that came out when I was born is now a classic. Toy Story is a classic now too. And if you think about it, it's it's weird because you know, I don't think of myself as old enough to be a, a classic movie, but I am. Clueless came out just barely over two weeks after I was born. That's crazy. I don't know why it's so crazy. I think it's crazy. I don't... I don't know. As if. That's the only, like, clueless thing I know. Okay, let's go on to popular baby names. I'm gonna look for my name in the top 100 baby names in 1995. See what number it is. Olivia is number 27 on the popular list for 1995. That's probably why I have only met one girl my same age that has my name. Honestly, I haven't really met that many Olivias. They're either like really young or like their 30s. Olivia is very popular now, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know. Number one for most popular girl baby name in 1995 is Jessica. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I have a pretty good friend of mine. Her name is Jessica. She was born in 95. Number two name in 1995 was Sarah. Jessica, who was born in 1995, her older sister of two years. So Sarah wasn't born in 95. And the third name in baby names for 1995 for girls is Emily. I have a sister named Emily. We've made that very clear. But Jessica and Sarah's oldest sister's name is Emily. Sarah and Emily from this family were not born in 95. But I just thought it was funny how from youngest to oldest is first to third in 1995. Birthday girl, bir girl, birth birthday names. Jessica is number one, Sarah is number two, Emily is number three. So I think that's funny since the youngest is Jessica, middle is Sarah, and then the oldest is Emily. I found that out. Fun fact for you guys, you don't even know those people, but I'm dissecting their family life and stuff. Number one, two, and three for boy names, Joshua, Daniel, Matthew. I have not met any guys born my same year with those names. I, honestly, I haven't met a lot of people who were born in the same year as I am. I know a lot of Joshua's, but most of them are at least like five or six years older than me. I know a lot of younger Matthews, younger, like five or six years younger than me. And Daniels, I, they're, they're like 10 years older. So that's it for the names. A DVD was first announced in 1995. Like before 1995, there were, it's not, before 1995, there was no such thing as a DVD. And frankly, I'm sure that there are kids in this world now, in this country, who have no idea what a DVD is. They either use Blu-ray or Netflix. So comment down below if you guys liked this video and if you guys want to see me do an ode to the 90s, an ode to the early 2000s, ode to the 80s, because I think it'd be fun to like do my outfits like it and give you some fun facts on the eras. That'd be fun! Especially doing like the 50s and the 70s and the 2000s because I lived the 2000s. I dressed in the 2000s. Oh boy, that would be interesting. So that is it for today. Thank you for spending my birthday with me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun doing research on it. Happy birthday to me. You can uh, sing me happy birthday in the comments below. Oh, I, I guess happy birthday or United States, whatever. You guys do know that all the fireworks are for me, right though? You, you know that the entire day is actually just about me. This whole idea that the it's the birth of the country, 1974. Yeah, right. My dad has told me from a young age that all those fireworks were just for me. It was actually really sad when I found out when I was like four or five that they weren't for me. I think that was the first time I ever realized that my father was a sinner. At that point, he had lied to me for my entire life. That really hurt. Anyway, so if you guys like the 4th of July, fireworks, the fact that people have birthdays like me and you, and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to become part of the Watered Down Tribe, just go down below, punch that red subscribe button and jingle that bell so you'll be notified every Tuesday and Friday of 2018 when I post. Please check out my social medias and I will see you on the flip side. I love you so much. Bye. Come on, focus on my face. It's all about me here. I normally don't dress up my... Me and you. 